Hi everyone! I'm gonna show you how you can create a shape like this. So uh, this shape has uh, some curves and some holes. Let's see how we can make it using Sketch. I'm using this tool. So grab it and put it on your fork plane and then uh, you can start making a shape. So I start with clicking four times like this and then I select all of the points, convert them to um, curves that have broken handles. See how you can move the handles? Yeah, you can move the handles separately. If you convert them to smooth, you will have um, handles like this. If you move one of them, the other side moves. So um, depending on the shape that you want to make, you can um, use any of these. So select any dot that you want to change. You can break the handle and move these handles around to see what you can make. Uh, so with these, we can make very interesting shapes. Also, we can uh, convert them to, um, what is this one called? Corner. If you click this, it will be a corner. And so see how easy it is to create something amazing. If you do the same thing to two sides of the handles, you will have symmetrical shapes. Uh, so we were trying to make a shape like this. Let's see how we can do that. Uh, so let's make them corner again and make it a circle. And let's move this. Let's move this side and see how we are creating a shape like that. Um, we can put the handle somewhere in the center and click this one and do the same thing to your shape. Done! Now let's finish sketch and we have our shape. Now we can go here and adjust the height if you want it taller or um, like this, you can just reduce the height or increase it. Okay, and the next thing is we want to cut a hole that is a curve like this. I'm using sketch tool one more time so we can put the sketch on top of our shape that we just created and we can make a closed shape with the four corners and if you like you can move the two points to the sides and then uh, we can select all of them and make them smooth see how it changes the shape uh, here we can drag a selection around two of the points and using the arrow keys we can move it up and down so let's say this is the shape I like I can go say finish sketch now we want to um, align it perfectly and then we will make it a hole and we will cut so let's make this a little bit shorter okay to align we can this one is selected. We can hold shift and click the second one to select both. Also, we can drag a selection that um, kind of selects the two. And then from here, we can go use this align tool or click L on your keyboard and then click this. Now it's aligned and we can make this one a hole so um, 
two of your objects were selected to um, deselect, you can click somewhere else outside. And let's click one more time to select only this one that will be a hole. So you need to click this. And to push it down, you can use you can use this so it pushes it down. Let's make it taller a little bit. And so you can push it down. Maybe you want to cut it like this. And let's group. So you can cut it like this or let's undo. Maybe you want to cut it like the other example that I have here. So for this one, you can push it a little bit down. And then uh, you need to group both. Select bolt and group. Here you go. Now we need uh, two circles. And again, we can use the sketch tool. Put it on top of your shape. And draw. So here, um, we need to draw a square and convert it to smooth uh, points and it will be a circle. We cannot draw another one. Uh, we will go out in and uh, we will duplicate. Okay, let's select all of them and then make them smooth. Now finish sketch and convert it to a hole. You can push it down. And to make another one, you can click this. Also, the shortcut is Control D. And use the arrows on your keyboard to move them. I'm gonna move one of them. Uh, so and we can group this and it will cut the hole, but uh, if you want to be more kind of align it better you can group these two so click click and shift click and then group so now this is one object and we can align it with this bigger one so click shift click to select both and then go align and see it was almost good but it was not perfect now we have aligned it perfectly and we are ready to cut so to cut this we again need to select both and group so yeah that's the shape we were trying to make and if you want to remove the background, no, yeah, change the color of the background or remove the grid, you can do this. And change the background to any other color you like. So that was it for today. Use the sketch tool and see what kind of uh, shapes you can make. And yeah, enjoy and have fun with it. I hope you liked the tutorial and see you next time.